So I'll be speaking on behalf of uh, ISPE. Yeah, I, I am a joint secretary for the last two years, and I've been fortunately fortunate to be secretary from next year for next two years. So I hope we'll be working in close collaboration with all the stakeholder holders for type 1 diabetes advocacy. So going to ISPAD this year, uh, ISPAD uh, Abu Dhabi. So there was a joint symp symposium with ISPE and ISPAD, uh, which actually covered some bits of advocacy related to type 1 diabetes. And uh, the session was titled as Diabetes Care Systems Setup. So it was chaired by our ISPE president, Dr. Shala Bhattacharya. So the first lecture in the symposium was actually by Dr. Silver Bahandeka from Uganda. And he actually discuss, uh, discussed Ugandan approach. They have actually started, rolled out a new program for type 1 diabetes. Uh, the talk was titled Health Service Delivery for Type 1 Diabetes in Uganda. So they <clears throat> have actually been working for improving type 1 diabetes care uh, in Uganda and all stakeholders being brought on table and they have started this concept of healthcare delivery for type 1 as a team and they have actually uh, started a digital tool uh, where all different members of the team are connected. Uh, village health team, it's, it's basically involvement of community to screen or bring patients who are suspected to have diabetes to the healthcare system. Nurse and clinical officer would further confirm the diagnosis. Doctor would supervise and endocrinologist would mentor the whole setup. And they're all working in connection uh, in link uh, using a digital tool. So this program has been rolled out to whole of Uganda as was being told. Next talk was about decentralizing type one diabetes care for the poorest billion through a pen plus strategy where there was some discussion about pen plus strategy yesterday as well in this meeting. So Dr. Jean Bookman from uh, Harvard Medi School, Medical School actually took this session. And Pen Plus strategy from WHO now actually is covering type 1 diabetes, sickle cell disease, and rheumatic heart disease. And it has been rolled out in some African countries, not yet in India. So this is what uh, are the snippets of that talk. So I hope that uh, this is, uh, strategy is rolled out even in India very soon. Third talk was uh, the outcome of uh, this Life for a Child and Spared collaborative survey, which was on uh, shifting responsibility for type 1 diabetes care to the team members. The talk was taken by Ms. Emma Kletman from Life for a Child. So this talk actually included initial uh, uh, data results and outcome, which were there from the survey. The survey was on talks sharing in the care of children and youth with type 1 diabetes and the current status and attitudes. So the survey actually included a, a lot. Uh, it was sent out through SPAD membership uh, or SPAD website and a lot of other uh, social media to all the countries possible. And 83 countries actually responded with 260 two responses from 83 countries. And India was leading with the number of responses. 33 out of 260 were from India. So responses were from the diabetes care teams, basically. And most of the doctors actually responded. And the main outcome here was the most of the burden of diabetes, type 1 diabetes care, is actually take, taken up by the doctors rather than diabetes nurses, educators, counselors, or other team members. Uh, even when there are these team uh, members available in the team, the most of the burden is on doctors and we need to actually uh, involve more other team members and they need to share the task, so-called task sharing. And another outcome here was that obviously most of the doctors were ready to share that task and the team members were ready to take that task actually and sharing was actually not sought by most of the respondents in the survey. So coming now to our ISPE's role in type 1 diabetes advocacy, just a brief introduction about ISPE first. ISPE is a re relatively very young organization. 
It was registered in 2007 with an aim to promote greater knowledge, research, education, and clinical practice of pediatric endocrinology, obviously including diabetes. Although earlier uh, there was, uh, we were part of uh, the major our uh, umbrella organization of Indian Academy of Pediatrics as pediatric and adolescent endocrinology chapters for 20 years before IFPE was registered. And first pediatric endocrinology training formal in India started in Lucknow, SGPGI, and first DM pediatric endocrinology was started just three years before uh, at our center in Chandigarh. And 2021, last year, we started Journal of Pediatric Endocrinology and Diabetes, which is official journal of ISPE, and we have already come out with third issue this year. This is how our ISPE web website looks like, and this is our journal website. So ISPE, we have total 750 members around, including pediatricians with interest in pediatric endocrinology, endocrinologists with interest in pediatric and adult endocrinologists, in fact, who have interest in type one diabetes and pediatric endocrinology as such. So diabetes educators, dietitians, type one diabetes advocates, people with type one diabetes are also included as associate members. So ISPE has been doing obviously a lot of work for type one diabetes care as we. Pediatricians understand that most of the patients with type one diabetes would be presenting to us, and it's our major responsibility to diagnose in time, and then provide optimal care to these children till we transition them to the adult endocrinologist. So, first thing uh, I would highlight, is I'll be sharing a few points where uh, what all we have been doing, and then dwelling on those in next few slides. The first thing, the clinical practice guidelines were developed for management of type one diabetes by ISPE uh, among children and adolescents. Obviously, first edition was released in 2011, and the latest uh, 2017, the second edition. Uh, another flagship program of ISPE, which was started 2021, ISPE Diabetes Education and Learning Program. To our, uh, I'll be telling in details about it a bit later. ISPE Best, the best basic education series in type one diabetes. That's another program rolled out in 2021. We have a lot of patient education material in different languages across India available on our website. And we do conduct ISPE ISPAD meetings focused only on type one diabetes every two years. This year it was in Chandigarh. Uh, patient awareness programs we do have uh, and organize them time to time. Most of the ISPE members doing in their local regions and then uh, combined as ISPE programs. Charity work for by ISPE members has been a regular feature. And advocacy, obviously, many ISPE members have been successful in uh, <clears throat> getting government's uh, funding uh, or uh, support for these patients with type one diabetes. For uh, some examples, being Kerala, where insulin pump therapy has also been provided to some of the patients. There are obviously some criteria how which patients would be given that, and free insulin pumps have been given to patients with type one diabetes. Delhi, Uttarakhand, Tamil Nadu, or some of the states where insulin are provided free, insulin analogs as well uh, from government. So, clinical practice guidelines these are available free uh, for download on ISPE website. Uh, the latest edition was 2017. Then patient awareness uh, education material is also there in different languages on our website. We do have a YouTube channel where we release different videos from time to time for public awareness and other programs. So, ideal. Uh, this actually was the brainchild of our ISPE president, Dr. Shaila Bhattacharya, and we, as a team, have uh, been successful in executing it. Now, these were the initial nine-member core committee which worked on starting these. And first ideal batch was launched on 19th, 9th of October 2021. So these modules actually were made with the help of nearly 50 pediatric endocrinologists and other uh, educators, psychologists, including. Uh, so 50 faculty who developed these modules. There are actually 10 modules with around 17 sessions, which are actually done virtually for the time being. Virtually, uh, two sessions per week. 
So it takes around two to three months for one batch to be completed. And at the end of it, we have an exit exam. It's quite formal. Attendance and all things are ensured before we actually certify these type one educators to be trained with IDEAL. So we have already actually trained three batches. Uh, this is our core committee, nine members and this faculty around 50 from all over India. And these are the members of second batch. So this particular uh, program was actually, we submitted an abstract to ISPAD and uh, it was presented as an oral session. And obviously the program was much appreciated as we do need a lot of type one diabetes educators. I think that's the need of the hour. So till now we have uh, actually 24 plus 30 and say nearly 85 patient, uh, type one diabetes educators have been trained and certified under this program and fourth batch is actually running right now. So another program started by ISPE last year was BEST, the basic education series for type one diabetes. So while we were actually training type one educators, there were a lot of demands coming from the general public or patients, appearance of patients with type 1 diabetes or type 1 diabetes patients who wanted to improve their uh, diabetes self-management education knowledge. So we started this program for them. It is brief, obviously, and catered to the ones who do not have medical background. It's basically a, a structured version of diabetes self-management education for patients. So this is the curriculum for the best, uh, around ten, eight modules here, uh, which are covered in uh, around four to six weeks, four weeks, in fact. So I'll pass on. So other uh, activities, with ob obviously ISPE has duty to perform, in fact, I would say. So we are doing a lot of patient and public activities, our ISPE members, obviously, last two years, most of the activities were done online and some being offline. So this is a brief list of some of them. So this World Diabetes Day, we as SPA actually, we did a awareness program. It lasted for around two hours, in fact, two, two and a half hours. So SPA team addressing the questions from uh, type 1 diabetes patients, parents from all over India. So we are also preparing modules for public health education. Uh, apart from other endocrine disorders, diabetes management in schools, we have started work uh, already. This module is, uh, this will be basically targeted to school teachers. Uh, in each school, we can have a structured diabetes management uh, module for care in the school for children. So we are in almost final stages of uh, finishing up with this module. and. Hopefully, we'll be rolling out it out next year. So just coming to end of it, uh, I think the need of the is that there are a number of societies or organizations working in India. In fact, this is a uh, list taken from one review article published in Journal of Diabetology. So nearly 40 societies across India who have been working for advocacy for type 1 diabetes individuals. So I think it's important that we all come on a single platform and I think that would be more fruitful. So obviously we have long way to go, but I'm sure United we can and we will. So I think important uh, challenges and the solutions we need to find out. So universal access is the first thing I think for best of care for type 1 diabetes, not just the basic insulins, or a few glucometer strips here and there, but we need to have optimal care for poorest of the patients. That's the first priority to my mind. Then I think school is a significant time. Um, children with type 1 diabetes are spending more than 50%, 60% of their active time in the school, so which is being neglected actually right now. So type 1 diabetes registry is important uh, here. We, I know there is ICMR registry, but it has somehow been diluted by other forms of diabetes included in it, less than 25 years. It's young diabetes registry rather than type 1 diabetes registry. And somehow, I think many pediatricians or many pediatric diabetes clinics are not covered in 
ICMR registry for some reason. So it's not the true data which we are getting actually in ICMR registry. So we need to have type 1 diabetes registry exclusively with involvement of obviously all pediatricians who are taking care of children with type 1 diabetes. And concerted efforts and advocacy from all like-minded societies is actually very important. And maybe we can come out with a consortium of federation or federation of all type 1 diabetes societies in India and then work on with concerted effort and approach the policymakers. Thank you.